Hi, it's Mark from Blue Poodle Studio. And in one of our other recent videos, we spent a little bit of time kind of giving an overview of licensing style guides, kind of give you some sense of the shapes and sizes and uh, scale that these come in. And today we're gonna dig a little bit deeper and I've chosen a, a vintage one from the early 90s called Mini and Me. And this was a uh, young girls targeted program from Disney uh, in the late night in the early 90s. And so we're going to take a few minutes and take a look at of two of these pieces slightly deeper and see what's inside. So first I want to read. So naturally, I'm a licensee and I've received a letter uh, from uh, my licensing agent, uh, the director at uh, Disney Consumer Products. And says, Dear Mark, our new Mini and Merchandising, uh, Mini and Me Merchandising Guide, Book Volume 2, is now complete and ready for your use in product development. Take time to read each of the six explanations, begin as, and these lay out the guidelines and our vision for the, of the newness and freshness of the Mini and Me family and products. So, what is Mini and Me? And this is where, again, as a marketer, they give you kind of a brand overview. So, I'll just read you a short excerpt, and then we'll take a look at some of the fun visuals. This updated guidebook supplements volume one. Together, both guidebooks provide you with a library of graphic approaches with new character art, patterns, color palettes designed to keep your products fresh. Minnie and Me's new look, new coordinated look, style, fashion, and play value further expands its merchandising opportunity at retail season after season. The Minnie and Me brand position builds on the inherent qualities of Minnie, forever loyal and true blue. Just imagine all the fun little girls are going to have with their new best friend. And Minnie's mom's best friend, too. Moms want to share all the wholesome values Minnie represented to them as children in their, with their daughters today. So let's uh, take a look inside and see what else is here. Okay, well, let's take a little deeper look inside. And first, of course, table of contents. We're not going to go through every page, but this is a pretty good summary. Um, it shows us the overview. It shows us something about the brand identity. It's going to go into the Mini and Me, the character, uh, what we call graphic elements, color, and product concepts. And this is pretty standard. Uh, so again, we uh, took a look earlier at kind of the overview to provide a more promoting the product offering. A little bit about the brand identifier. So the primary logo, the Mini and Me logo, is different than kind of normal Mini because, again, it's a sub brand category targeting young girls. Um, and they talk a little bit about what they call secondary identifiers or more uh, graphic overlays that tie to this. And again, um, this is a working guide, but then the licensing agency would have sent out more uh, high res files in the way of transparencies that the licensee could use in manufacturing. So here first, of course, we see the full color logo of the program and they, of course the copyright notice and they highlight that there's color transparencies available so this is the main overview for the program and then of course not knowing how what how this will be used or on what products they have both a full color version a uh, black and white version both large and small logo types and then of course they give you the specs so again if you're a graphic artist you would under you could see how this might be used on a hang tag and then they give you uh, kind of a color breakout uh, in the Pantone colors. Uh, then here begins to get into packaging. So how, if you're packaging the product, what would that look like? So again, they're showing it in black and white, but it can be done in black and white or can be done in color. And uh, they're showing you the treatments for that. Here's what we call secondary identifiers. These could be a, a patch on a girl's outfit or a stamp on a, a notebook or something of that nature. Uh, again, some other secondary uh, graphic elements, uh, kind of containment devices with her character art inside. And then talk a little bit about the character itself. To give you a clearer picture of Minnie and me, let's take a look at the character. Minnie is every girl's little girl's best friend. Every experience shared with Minnie becomes richer and more exciting and fun. This year, we've enriched Minnie's life by introducing her to the wonders of nature. Whether she's catching butterflies or snowflakes, Minnie has fun. The following pages feature scenes of Minnie enjoying nature by herself and with her friends. While some scenes are appropriate for a particular seasonal application, most can be used and applied any time during the year. From season to season, all year round, Minnie is the best friend a little girl can have. So this gets into kind of a backstory on what's happening here, which then is often written in advance that inspires the designer. So here we're gonna take a look deeper. Here's a just a great cute pose of Minnie by herself. And then we get into some of the activity character art. So she's 
splashing in a puddle, playing with her jump rope, uh, visiting with butterflies. Um, just a whole variety of character art is available. Here's her doing a hula hoop. She's uh, playing with Daisy in the, in the pond. She's at the beach. Uh, she's perhaps going on a picnic. And of course you see uh, some of the other characters and friends like the rabbits and birds that might have shown up in earlier Disney films. Here she is in wintertime activities, ice skating, snowboarding, uh, and graphic elements. So again, these are textures or different patterns or borders that can be used either in packaging or products itself. So you have what they call basic elements, basic plus elements, and then seasonal elements. And these can be then used individually or can be uh, built into a pattern. So here you see some of these graphic elements being executed as a sewn patch. Here you see the graphic elements being put together in a pattern or a repeat, repeat print. These are often used in clothing or leggings, again, to give an overall texture or graphic. Uh, again, more patterns there. So lots of fun assembly of all the graphic elements into various patterns, borders, things of that nature. And often then there can be, even if you don't see a piece of character art, maybe this is a background on a girl's dress, but there's a large uh, chest graphic of the character and the logo maybe in the center of that. So again, these are all the building blocks, if you will, that designers and uh, product designers and graphic designers would need to put together the program. And then finally, color. So again, as they say here in the introduction, color has always been an integral part of the Mini and Me program. In keeping with this year's nature theme, we have dedicated four new seasonal color palettes for each season, spring, summer, winter, and autumn. Spring, fresh and delicate, velvety pastel. Summer, lively, sunny, high-spirited brights. Autumn, lush, rich, vivid earth tones. Winter, warm and festive traditional holiday hues. So uh, they show these colors in what's called the Pantone system, or uh, and these are much like paint chips. You can see both uh, how they can be produced, and it shows the formula in uh, what's called YMCA colors to uh, put that together. And um, so, and then finally, they offer some product concepts. So here uh, you get into ideas. These are not necessarily final designs, but are intended to inspire the manufacturers or licensees with different suggestions to how these graphics might be used. And so again, you can get a sense here of how the background or graphic elements are combined with character art to create a total product design. So mostly apparel here, but it looks like we've got some bedding and home decor, uh, personal accessories, beach bags, a backpack for fall, uh, lots, of, lots of fun stuff. So, uh, all right, I'm going to stop there. And then before we run out of time, I wanted to also then, here is then a sub-themed uh, guide that was sent out for Holiday 91. So this came out in March, and this probably would have come in the fall. And uh, love the fun packaging, the pink and gold. And we're going to open up this uh, little portfolio here and see what's inside. I haven't opened this up in 20 plus years. Okay, so let's dig in here and see what we got. Uh, looks like we've got some uh, collateral materials, again, highlighting the program. Oh, that's some fun photography there. Oh, that's very sweet. And then here's uh, a promotional section. This probably was a tip in and a plan for a newspaper or magazine article. So yep, there you go. Here's another print ad highlighting this program. Uh, talking about a mom best friend, showing off some products. Let's keep going deeper in here, see what we got. Okay, so there's a marketing fact sheet that shows licensees, all the promotional dollars being spent behind. Here's a list of all the licensees at the time. Uh, and then we're gonna, in a very simple fashion, they've got some um, simple graphics put together. We won't spend too much time on this, but here's Minnie with her Christmas tree. Um, more uh, color stories, again, very holiday theme with the plaids and polka dots bringing in a traditional uh, kind of holiday color scheme. Heart spots, more plaid. Here's some uh, concepts, again, with the character art, again, very rough, showing how that could be applied on product concepts. And it does not look as though this guide had any new character art, but more the colors and graphics. And again, that's the versatility of the characters and how they can be used at different seasons. So uh, again, that's an example, good example of a seasonal style guide, uh, but in this case, it included some other uh, marketing materials that came with it. So 
All right, well, that uh, concludes our overview of these two uh, Mini and Me program pieces. Uh, we definitely have more to review at a later date, but uh, appreciate your joining us today and stay tuned for more stories on uh, pop culture. And particularly, we'll be digging into, again, other deeper examples of these licensing style guides in future videos. So thanks again for joining us today. Goodbye.